Hello friends and warm welcome from Aussie's group. Hope you all are doing well. I'm Malcolm, your PT coach and along with me I have Gaurang. Hello Gaurang, how are you? I'm fine Malcolm, how are you? I'm very well, thank you so much. So Gaurang, which is the task we are going to take today? We are going to be focusing on the listening section and the task is highlight incorrect words. Yes friends, highlight incorrect words, a very important task in this listening section. Generally it's the second last task. Yes. And in this task basically what happens is you'll have a passage on your screen. The same passage you'll be listening to also in the audio, but few words will be incorrect in the passage. So you just have to click on those incorrect words. Yes, it's, it's, in a way it's very simple. In yeah. a way it's quite complex. But before we start talking about that, I think Malcolm, we should also be sharing our success with our viewers. Definitely friends, the last week has been fantastic for Aussies, Melbourne and Aussies Clayton offices. We have had many success stories in the past week itself. And I'd also like to share that just today morning, we have had our 10th score of perfect 90 in the month of October itself. And friends, believe us, according to us, there is no institute currently in Australia or in the world which has got 10 scores of 90 in the month of October. So there must be something which we are doing right and pretty correct. So it's pretty, a pretty good week for us. Absolutely. We have been creating waves in the PTE market here That's in Australia right. because we have been consistently scoring 90. That's right. No 79, no 65, it's 90 all the way for us. It's as good as saying that 90 is the new 79 now. Absolutely, yes. That's right. Well, so uh, my heartiest congratulations to all of our students who have scored 90 each. If you are looking to score anything close to 90, just come into Aussies and we'll be happy to help you. Definitely, friends. So, Gaurang, let's go back to the topic at hand. Yes. Definitely. So, this task of highlighting incorrect words, um, why is it tricky? And what are the steps which we should be careful about in this task? It's tricky because the audio can at times not be clear. Very true. That is number one. There will be people around you who will move, which can distract your attention. And because it's the listening task, you miss one word. It's a problem. You miss everything. Yes. The third thing, because the passage could be short, could be long. You yeah, not be know. sure. That's right. And similarly, the speaker who's speaking the passage, the audio, could be fast, could be slow, yes, could so be in a different accent. They also keep on, you know, changing the speeds of the yes, audio itself. So yes. very easy to be disoriented during the audio. That is thing. And some of the words that they change, you have to catch the pronunciation perfectly. Yes, very quickly and perfectly. Yes. That's a simple right. example. Crude and rude. Yes. Yes. Right? They might it might be mentioned rude, they might just add a C. See, that's right. It's crude. That's right. If you don't catch it, it's gone. It's gone, right. So, Gaurang, how is the scoring in this task? This task <coughs> is another one that has partial negative marks. That's right. So, if you select a word that was incorrect in the audio, you get a plus credit. But if you select a word that was not incorrect in the audio, that is, you select an incorrect, incorrect word. That's right. You get partial minus credit. Minus one, that's right. The only good thing is, again, as with the other multiple choice questions, multiple correct answers task type, the least you can get is zero. That's right. You cannot get minus marks carried forward into any other questions That's or right. into the listening section overall. That's right. But because this is again a percentile based, you know, scoring, uh, scoring yeah. it will affect your overall scores in a big way and two parts, reading and listening, yes, both of them will the, be affected. Yes, that's right. That's the most important thing that this task is an integrated scoring task which means that if you click on the incorrect word, you are getting a point for listening and reading both. Yes. Because, I mean, selecting a wrong word, you're losing a point in listening in and reading both. So very tricky. You should get this task correct if you want to push your reading score anyhow. Yes, and your listening score, of definitely, course. Definitely. Listening scores, very important. This is one of the most important tasks in listening, definitely. I would say. Very true. So I would now like to request our colleague Tanu, if she could just play the audio, which we had uploaded last week. The nation gave increasing emphasis to Labor Day. The first government recognition came through municipal ordinances passed during 1885 and 1886, leading to a movement to secure state legislation. The first bill was introduced into the New York legislature, but the first to become law was passed by Oregon in 1887. During that year, four more states, Colorado, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and New York, also legislated for Labor Day. By 1894, 23 other states had adopted the holiday, and in June of that year, Congress passed an act, making the first Monday in September of each year a legal holiday in the District of Columbia and the territories. The form 
that the observance and celebration should take was outlined to be a street parade to exhibit to the public the strength and esprit de corps of the trade and labor organizations, followed by a festival for the recreation and amusement of workers and their families. By resolution of the American Federation of Labor Convention in 1909, the Sunday preceding Labor Day was adopted as Labor Sunday and dedicated to the spiritual and educational aspects of the labor movement. So pretty lengthy and pretty quick as well. Yes, pretty quick as well and some of the words were not that easy yeah, to recognize. That's right, that's right. So which were the incorrect words go wrong? Well, from what I can see, <clears throat> we had seven incorrect words in there. That's right. These words were importance, assembly, accepted, states, described, entertainment and emotional. These are the words, I have read the words that are mentioned in the passage, the passage. not the words that were spoken. So, that's right. Okay. So in the passage, these words were replaced by some other words when they were spoken. That's right. Malcolm, how many of our respondents have given correct answers? Yes, we got many responses this time. So out of those, I mean, we got four responses, Gary, Jagroshan, Sagar and Nirmal. And out of those, I believe three are correct. That is Jagroshan, Sagar and Nirmal. So congratulations to all of you for participating in this. And according to our as we had said last time that one of the winners will be entitled to one full free practice test from pttutorials.com and this week's winner is Sagar Gautam. So many congratulations to you Sagar. Uh, we request you to mail us your user ID, I mean your email ID and very soon we'll be giving you the password and user ID for your access to pttutorials.com. So many congratulations. Please make sure you inbox us a direct message to us with your mobile number and your email address so that we can update the details, create an account on your behalf on www.ptetutorials.com and give you access to your one free practice test. Many congratulations. So Gaurang, coming back to this question, mm -hmm. so what should be or what could be a good technique or techniques to ace this task? One of the first things that you should develop if you want to ace this task is the ability to speed read. That's right. And speed listen as well. That's it right. requires both things. That's right. You have to have a very strong listening ability. Don't hear, listen. That's right. Okay. That is very important. And you have your eyes must constantly be on the passage. Don't get distracted by anything else. That's right. And also, as we said, at I mean, a couple of times there could be distraction or disturbance mm -hmm. in the audio itself. Yes. So I think it will be better if a person practices with some background disturbance as well. It will also, you know, attune your mind through getting used to it, basically. Always helpful. If you are used to working and concentrating in disturbing environments, you will simply love this task. Very true. Very true. And the last thing is that since this task has a partial negative scoring, so if I have a doubt in my mind, what should I do with that word? Don't select the word. Absolutely not. That's right. It's better to not select something that way you will not get negative, negative marks. But if you select something that was not incorrect, you will get negative marks, which that's you don't right. want. That's right. Also, remember this, a lot of people make this mistake. They think that because I have to highlight the incorrect word, they will try to select the entire word. You don't need to waste that much of time, just a single click. Yes. And that's if right. by chance you select a wrong word that was actually not incorrect in the passage, click it again, it will be de-highlighted. Deselected, that's right. So basically it's a very simple task. You just need to be good with listening and you know, moving the mouse and clicking, clicking, clicking. That's it. And just need a lot of confidence. Yes. That's and it. keep in mind, there is no fixed number of words that will be incorrect. Some passages can be as low as three. Some passages can be as high as seven or eight. That's right. So be ready for it. That's right. right. Don't, don't go by any thumb rules. Don't go by any preconceived notions that I've selected three. So there are only three or there are five. So there are only five. And Whatever you have selected, don't think a second time, just click right. on, move on. Just go with the instinct and common sense. <laughs> Absolutely. That's right. So I think we are done with all the main techniques in this task, go wrong. Yes. And what should be the next task we will be taking if we can tell our viewers next week? We are done with listening. So obviously the next one is going to be speaking. Speaking. We have got just one more task type left in speaking and that is answer short questions. Yes. Answer short question, friends, is the last task in the speaking module. So in this task, you will have 10 to 12 or 13 questions to which you need to give a simple and to the point short answer in generally one or few words. So that is the task. And again, it is an integrated task with speaking and listening because as the name itself states, answer short questions and we can only answer them when we listen to the question, obviously. 
So very important task for the school. Very important task, but very easy as well. <laughs> very silly and easy task. But of course, sure. we'll be discussing that in further detail in our next live session, which will be on next Thursday at 2 p.m. Definitely, friends. And I think we are done with all we had to discuss today. So I think yes. we should bid adieu to our friends now. Well, before we bid adieu, let us once again give them a reminder that they should visit www.ptetutorials.com. Very true. Sign up. You have got tons of free practice materials on there that can help you with your PTE preparations. Definitely, friend. I'd also like to remind all of you that this Saturday, we are again holding the master class at our Melbourne CBD office. The fees for the class is just $79 as we have been posting regularly. There have been many students, including the student who got a score today. Her name is Rosina. She got a 90 by attending just one class worth $79. And as we said, the results are in front of you. So don't miss that opportunity if you have your test in the coming few weeks or coming few days. The class will be this Saturday. It will start at 11 a.m. sharp in the morning and go up till 5 or 5.30 in the evening. It's just a one day class crash course, which will include all the 20 tasks with the techniques and strategies comprehensively. Don't so miss people, it. if top PTE scores are what you desire, you cannot afford to miss the master class with Malcolm. That's right. Thank you so much, Gaurang. And thank you so much, friends, for viewing the video. We'll see you soon and we'll be posting the next task tomorrow. All right. Have a great weekend. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Thank you.